Okay, so this video is um, an attempt to show how to set up the 10EE uh, to produce threads. Okay, so to set the dials over here on the side, okay, first off, you've got right here, this is where you set your thread pitch. And notice up here at the top, it says that the threads, threads per inch is your top number, and feeds in thousandths is your lower number down there. So, you start by, drop this lever right here, then you, then you can turn this and change the column. You want to pick the column. So if we're going to do 16 threads per inch, we're looking for this column right here. We're going to move it over to there, okay? And then if we come back and we lock that back in, you can no longer move that dial. Okay, so now this dial right here, you can see says threads and feeds. So you need to move it over to threads. Then this dial up here, you've got feed, thread right hand, and thread left hand. So we're gonna cut right hand threads. So we need to move this over to, and hang on, it's gonna take me two hands. Okay, so to change this to right hand, you got to turn the headstock a little bit and drop it in to, now it is set for right hand threads. Okay, you can see that there's a tiny little mark right there pointing to right hand threads. Now, you've got to switch this one over from belt feed to uh, gear thread. So you drop that over. I normally put it in back gear um, when I'm cutting threads, you can also leave it in the in the open belt. Now, the other part of setting up for your threads is you you want to cut. We're wanting to cut 16 threads per inch. So that means that we also have to set these other two dials to A and E. So you can see this dial up here. That's A. Oops, sorry. And that's B. So we're supposed to do A E. So we're going to move that to A. And then you have this dial down here, which needs to be set over to E. Okay, and that's gonna give us 16 threads per inch. If we wanted eight, eight threads per inch, we'd use this same column. We'd set this first dial over here to A, and we'd set this other dial down here to D. If we wanna cut 32 threads per inch, we'd stay in that same column. We'd change this dial to B, and we would change this dial down here to C, okay? And that would, um, that's how to set up the dials um, on this side of the lathe. Now this lathe also, also has a ELSR attachment, which is, an, I think it's electronic lead screw reverser uh, attachment. And so you've also got a control over here on the far right. You've got to make sure that it is set for either right hand or left hand. If you put it in the neutral position, uh, it won't engage and start at all. And when I, when I actually, when I first bought this lathe, um, I got a great deal on it because it was being sold by a, a, a man who just sells uh, machinery, you know, lathes and mills and all kinds of huge stuff. And when I went to look at it, he couldn't get it to run because that was set in neutral and I didn't know anything about the lathe either. But when I got it home um, and started trying to figure out what was wrong with it, that was the only thing that was broken about it.